Hey boo, I wanna show you the inside of my little Ikea hymnist hack. Hopefully you liked it. I freaking love it. I think it looks very luxurious. I think that it solves my storage problems and I can't wait to hack over some more Ikea stuff because it's my favorite thing to do. But I'm gonna do a quick tour so you can see exactly what I house in there and um, give you an up close look as to how it actually looks so you can kind of see a little bit better all right now before i show you this little hymnus cabinet i do want to tell you that the products that i used are not all available so i purchased the hardware from home goods and then i purchased the contact paper from amazon and i'll show you that contact paper up close because it is bomb.com all right so this is what it looks like up close it is very textured if you rub your hand on it you can feel the texture i freaking love this contact paper um as you can see everything's stapled up but you can't see it unless you open it which if you're very anal you could put some um, ribbon here and then just like um, put some adhesive down and put the ribbon on top of the adhesive so that you can't see the staples but I didn't really care the handles that I purchased are from home goods like I mentioned and I love them because they have the hexagons you know I love hexagons and they're uh, brush brass and here I keep all of my dog stuff and I'm pretty sure you hear him because he's over there making noise complaining I think he wants some food or something I don't know but I keep all of his stuff in here so we got the um, pet wipes, dog bags, um, doggy diapers. He went on this little pen spree, had me taking him to the vet and everything. I was thinking he had diabetes or something because he just kept peeing, but it went away. So more wipes uh, and then just uh, some more like dog cords. This was actually something that I put together um it says jack my dog name is jackson with an x but this was from the dollar tree and it was a little water bottle see he, he heard me call his name i'm not calling you anyway this was from the dollar tree and it was a water bottle that i took the little straw out of and added like some dog bags that's actually where these go um, and then I bought a little hook from the Dollar Tree also, and then I hooked it onto the leash. So when I'm out walking him, um, I have access to my bags and it worked pretty good. I like it actually. It's only two bucks and it fits a lot of bags. So yeah, this is Jackson's. And then I like to keep a um, paper towel, um, so that I can wipe his feet off because he goes outside and usually steps in mud. And sometimes we track it back through. So if it's too muddy, if it's been raining, then I clean his paws off. Um, and this is a paper towel that I just cut in half. So I use half for him and then I actually use the other half for my face. It's in my bathroom. All right, so that is how it looks in the inside. Basically, everybody has a cabinet. This is Bay cabinet, that's my cabinet, that's my son's cabinet, and that's my dog's cabinet. So that's why I say I like this thing because everybody has a home. Now I gotta give you a little bit of background on this vase here. This is from the Goodwill. It was clear. Um, I bought some high gloss black paint and I spray painted it inside it out and I think it looks super dope. And it was only like six bucks. This is a full arrangement that I purchased from Amazon and Ikea. So these faux tulips are um, from Amazon and they come like 12 in a pack. So I bought two. I'll put the links in the description box below. And then this little greenery here actually comes from another plant. As you can see, I tore the plant apart and then I just stuffed them in here. That is one of my favorite things to do. That's a nice little hack. If you want to create something that has like dimension and all of that jazz, then mix and match your faux plants and flowers it just looks more dynamic moving on this is from Sephora and then 
which is a candle. And then the candle holder is from Bath and Body Works. As you can see, we still have the same hexagon thing going on. Marble, one of my favorite books by Aaron Gates. And this is actually, <laughs> this is actually a necklace that was given to me and I wear it as a necklace sometimes, but when I'm not wearing it as a necklace, then I use it as decor because why not repurpose your stuff, right? Why not? Um, but yeah, this is it. This is how the cabinet turned out and I am loving it. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. So yep, that is it. And I have a full makeover video coming soon. So make sure you stay tuned because I completely did this entire entryway over and it is kind of cute. I must say, I like it. All right, so this is the contact paper. And as you can see, um, it has a little bit of texture to it. But as you can see, it's not a, it's not just paper. It actually has like a fabric, a flat fabric finish to it. So it's kind of hard to pull apart. Like, I don't know if you can see this. You can see the fibers. There you go, you can see it there. So you can see the fibers, which is nice. And this lets you know that this is not cheap paper and it's not gonna easily tear uh, because it has a fabric, you know, like, like, like all wheel wallpaper, it has that backing to it. So this is actually wallpaper, but I used it on my furniture. So I hope that you like my new cabinet. I actually got inspiration from the Bernhardt collection. There's a um, dresser that they have and it's like a short hair fur type of dresser, but it's like $2,000 I wanna say. If it's not 2,000, it's, it's, I know it's a grand, but it's pretty, like I said, it's pretty expensive. So this is my way of kind of getting that look. All right, so as always, don't forget, give this video a thumbs up if you like this type of content and you wanna see more bomb ideas on a budget, how to hack stuff, make it look dope, make it look like you bought it from a high-end store. Um, keep them thumbs coming and I'ma keep the videos coming. All right, as always, don't forget, be you, be beautiful, be chic on a budget and I'll see you on my next upload. Later, boo.